the morning. You can tell this is not Indiana. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Uh, North Carolina, Western North Carolina, and the DuPont State Forest, Western North Carolina. It's the third week of October. We're hoping for a little bit of color. There is a little bit, not a lot. It's a cold morning, about uh, 37 degrees, as you can tell from a little bit of steam coming off the stream behind me that uh, the water is warmer than the actual air. I thought I'd get together or put together a video this week talking about something that's all over the internet, which is, you know, do you really need a tripod these days with all the in-body image stabilization and lens stabilization? Do you really need it? Now, as you can see, I've got my shot framed up here using you know, my tripod. I like to use a tripod. It's just something that I do, but take a few shots here, maybe hike up the creek a little bit further to Triple Falls if we could get up there, you know, and uh, we'll talk about whether or not, and I'll give you my opinions on whether or not you should be using the tripod. So stay tuned. All right, so you can see Triple Falls here behind me. And the sun, of course, which is making it not the best. So we'll turn a little bit here to get out of the sunlight. So now, do you really need a tripod? shoot and the answer is it depends on your shooting style all right I like to shoot a lot of moving water and I like to slow it down and give it kind of that blurry effect and it's really hard to do that without one now you can do it all right and I took a couple shots here a fifth a sixth of a second you know just to display that which I'll show them here in this in this video so you can see the handheld version but it's a lot easier with a tripod again it depends on your shooting style do you need it for everything the answer is no all right, the, the actual, you know, image stabilization itself does a great job, and it helps you, you know, take some of the motion blur out. Shutter speed also helps. The higher the shutter speed is, the less of an issue you're going to have. Now, again, if you're using a 35 millimeter lens, let's say, you want to be at least 1 35th of a second, all right, at least that, all right, 1 35th of a second, not above. But you can't go below with some of the image stabilization. Right? But you really have to try it with your camera and how you shoot to really determine. The most important thing is develop your style. Right? And then if you need a tripod, use it. You know, and if you feel you get away without using it, then don't. There's a lot more freedom in not having it. Right? One, it's a, a pain in the butt to you know, bring it along. All right? And it also takes time to set it up and you got to line things up. But it does offer you know, that extra step that allows you to get a good stable image, you know, a good sharp image, I guess is the right way to say it. You know, but you don't have to have it. Now another thing that's out there is, you know, what kind of a tripod do I need or how much should I spend on it? Alright, if you are going to use a tripod, don't buy a cheap one. Alright, you know, don't go out and get one of these $50, $60 cheap tripods. Spend a little bit of money, alright, and get yourself, you know, a nice tripod. It can be aluminum if you like. I prefer, you know, carbon fiber, it just allows me to carry it along it's a little bit lighter as you can see here you know i've got a benro travel tripod that i use you know that i like a lot only problem with it is it's only about 51 inches tall so it makes you know you gotta lean over but at the end of the day i like using it so do you need one no but if you do spend a little bit of money on it this is about 340 bucks you know my three-legged thing winston which is my bigger tripod you know that is that there's my wife in the back. She's she's making uh, faces and everything in the camera. There, go ahead, do it again. Yeah, see, yeah, great. Put her in my video just for the heck of it, just for that. Yeah, but the three-legged thing, Winston, it's about $450. It's a little better tripod than this because it's a little bit taller, a little bit more adjustable, a little bit more stable. But do you need it? Again, it depends on your style. Right. So, I'm gonna take a few more pictures. Maybe throw a couple on here at the end. You know. Listen to my wife give me a hard time, you know, the usual stuff, and then go on and take some pictures of some more waterfalls. But thanks for coming along. You know, at the end of the day, remember to like and subscribe. What is that called? What, what do the Switch It Up folks call it? Do all the things. Yeah, do all the things. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Mm -hmm.